terrible. And you're late? Me? Never. I was simply retrieving the information you sent me to get. It was easy, really. Something about an event happening tonight at the Tower of London. The gala? I will be attending. You're our inn, then. You can't just barge in and steal the crown jewels. She's right. We need a plan. Oh, bother. Jacob, you can escort Mr. Singh to tonight's event. This will give you a chance to slip away from the party and find the Koh i -Noor. I'll take care of the guards around the perimeter. Meet me at the top of the White Tower. Good! Another chance to wear the suit. No weapons allowed. Where's the fun in that? I should find Singh. The jewels are being held upstairs, but be careful. If this isn't one of the most heavily guarded places, then I'm a true Englishman. I may need your help to distract these guards. Just give me the signal. to distract the guards. You can't tell the difference between the Eucharist and a lady's hand. <laughs> Seems like the sort of thing I might get one can You might have a point. England has seen enough of red. Why not change the uniform? You'd all look dashing in a shade of butter yellow. The diamond is on the second floor. It's awfully quiet up here. Guards asleep. I wonder what's inside that crate. Someone got here before I did. Well, if the diamond's not here, I've got to find it before it leaves the building. If it hasn't already. Perhaps I can find some clues as to where the diamond went. This plan was genius. We'll get him this time. Friends with the Queen? Pa! She won't be friends with him when she finds the diamond is in his pocket. He'll never see it coming. Once he tries to walk out that door, he'll kiss his royal title goodbye. They planted the diamond on the leap? Not good. We met at the missionary oh, compound in Fatigo, Your Majesty. The Loggins were quite fond of the Ellsworths. Mr. Singh and I were quite close, Your Ladyship. It was a lonely time on foreign soil for me. I was more than happy to have a friend. I'm sure. And now the company has sent you here on urgent business. Mm. I wish I could disclose the information, Your Ladyship. But alas, I have not. I'm sure you will learn of it soon enough. Now to find my sister.
Templars. I've got to secure the perimeter. What took you so long? Bit of a mishap. Here it is. What happened? Somebody stole it first. The safe had been robbed by the time I got there. The British Indies Company will stop at nothing. There was a plan to frame Singh. I lifted it from him before the Royal Guards found it. Imagine the look on Her Majesty's face if... They must know by now that their plan was foiled. You're welcome. I think it's time to depart. I need to find a way out of here. I hope they make it out all right. Did you get it to your sister? Just barely. What do you mean? I'll tell you about it another time. You encountered some trouble? We can't speak of this here. The British Indies Company is up to no good again. Outside, then. You, sir! Halt for inspection! <laughs> I beg your pardon? Search him! Nothing. The Corinor isn't here. Of course there's nothing. What do you take me for? 
Some sort of criminal? about, Mr. Singh? I do believe they thought I was trying to pinch the Koh-i-Noor, your ladyship. Ha! Huh? The Koh-i-Noor? Who on earth would want to steal that potato? Good night, your highness. We barely got out of there in one piece. The British Indies Company tried to plant the diamond on you and frame you for stealing it. Luckily, I was there just in the nick of time. We need to meet back at Mr. Green's shop. I must see the diamond with my own two eyes. Koinor never left India. Had I known you planned to reclaim it, I would have stopped you. My father ensured it never fell into Templar hands. Your father he has done a great service to me and my people. My words to you earlier were unfair. You were not wrong. I too have grown frustrated with my lack of progress. Shall we let bygones be bygones? We need to find out who's behind all of this. And why the Templars and the British Indies companies have joined forces. What we should do is track them down and destroy their headquarters. Jacob. That may not be such a terrible idea, Mr. Fry. 